welcome to Exceed Learning. In today's video, we're going to talk about a cool function called record.field, which can help us to filter table based on the column position rather than column name. Uh, we had a client which had some specific uh, issue with filtering of the tables. So every time he received a table, the table has had different structure names, uh, different names of the, of the columns and he had to find a way to filter always the second column from the table. Uh, he was unable to use all other features like demoting headers. He always had to keep the structure of the table. So do not mess with the structure, just always take the second column and filter it to a specific way. So we looked upon a solution and we found one with this uh, function. So we will go through the solution together. First, let's uh, put this table into Power Query. So let's load it from table range. And this is a pretty simple table. We would want to filter by the second column. So this column currently is named product. And the easiest way or the normal way of filtering would be to select it and to select it to always be uh, letter A. And now we receive this kind of a syntax. Uh, the problem with this formula was in this name of the column. So the product is the name of the column, this name, and we need to, we needed to make it dynamic. So we somehow we needed to say everything that is second column becomes something that, that we want to filter upon. So we first what we need to understand is that each is a syntax, meaning that it creates an iteration over this table, and for each row it is pushing the underscore uh, variable and this variable holds the record of the current row and that record is being filtered by the product column name of it. So for each line, the record is being filtered so that the name, the column name product of that record is evaluated if it's A, then it survives, if it's not an A, then it's being removed from the table. So if this is a record, we cannot simply, if this is the name of the table of the record, we cannot simply say that we want it to become a variable or to become a text because it simply does not work. What we had to do, we had to, we had to somehow introduce a variable but let the Power Query, let the M acknowledge that this is a name of the record column. So what we did, we used this record.field function, which takes two arguments. The first argument is the name of the record, and the, and the record is the underscore. So the record is always the current row of the iteration. And then let's check the second argument. The second argument is the field of that record as text. Exactly what we need. We need this, this to be the name of the column that we, want, that we wish to filter upon. After we confirm, it works. So we can use any kind of name. We can change this to segment column name. And let's say that we want the segment to be low. And it works. So now let's bring it back to product and let's say that we want it to be an A product, uh, product, okay. And this is the first part of the solution. The second part of the solution was that this name changes. So we, we had to make it dynamic so that it always uses the second column name of the table. And for that purpose, we can introduce a second function, which is called table dot column names and this function accepts the table as as uh, an input and the table will be the table of the source step so the source step table will be our input now the thing is this if we open the brackets uh, why is it not showing up uh, oh there it is so this table dot column name, uh, because it's not column name, it's column names, okay? So this function accepts or 
receives a table and then returns the column names as list. And we cannot choose to filter by the whole list. We have to choose only a single value from that list or the single index of that list. And the index we want to retrieve or the value from that list that we want to retrieve is the index number one. Why number one? Because uh, lists in Power Query in M starts from zero. So index of the list starts from zero. We want to return the second column. So we have to do number one. And after we confirm it, now it's it's completely generic. Uh, now let's load this to a table. Let's load it beside the original one. one. And after we refresh, it works. If we change this to product something and we refresh, it still works. So any change to the column name has no impact on filtering the second column of the table. We can build functions upon it, we can create uh, more flexible uh, uh, solutions based on this uh, record.field name function and what we can also do to take advantage of it, we can create some kind of a parameters that we, we can use either in Excel or in Power BI to introduce some kind of a dynamic filtering prior to the uh, refreshing of the data. So let's show this example. So we will add a new table that will be our input uh, input table or parameter table. Uh, the table will have two columns. Uh, let's call this uh, column name and value. Value and we will say that we want the column name to be brand and the value to be ABC. So now let's select this uh, table. And let's go to data from table range. My table has headers and let's move it inside of Power Query. Uh, now we have to go to the each of these uh, values. We have to drill down to make it a variable or to make it a simple variable. And this will be called a column name. And now let's do a duplicate, duplicate. And now let's call this value. And what we need to do, we need to go to this and drill down. Okay, we have two column, we have two variables, and now let's duplicate this query. And instead of table column name source something, which is a dynamically accessing the second column name, we will simply input variable column name. And for the equal part, we will add the value variable. So now let's close and load this table. We'll create only connection. Let's go to here. Let's load it underneath the parameter table. And now this is completely generic. If we choose to filter, we can say that we want to filter by products and we want them to be A. We add that parameters, we click on refresh, and the data gets filtered based on the, this input. If we, on the other hand, want to do by description, and it wanted to be height, we simply confirm it, refresh it. Uh, we, it's, we wrote something wrong, there's... Uh, no, no, sorry. Description, right click refresh. It works. It filters the description. So yeah, this was all for this video. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like, subscribe button. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. We do read them and we create more content based on your uh, feedback. So yeah, be sure to hit like, subscribe and we see you in the next video. Bye.